Tonight, new body camera video shows Seattle police responding to a burglary at a car dealership, but they never stop by the office and audio reveals they're confused about which building to check. Good evening, I'm Steve Rabel. I'm Monique Mingalavan. Now, this happened while a burglar was inside cutting through a safe. Only Cairo 7's Lindsay Sheldon obtained this new video. She is live at the Lake City dealership. Lindsay? Well, to give you a good idea of the layout of this property, take a look. This is the building that was broken into. One of these windows pried open. Follow me over here. This is the sign for the dealership, Wild West Trucks. But when Seattle police officers responded to a call at this property, this building over here is the only one that they went to, according to this body camera video. And in it, you can hear officers say they don't know which building had the alarm go off. I thought it was going to be that one over there because that one goes off all the time, too. Well, it's, it's A. Is it, uh, what was the address on it? It's a B. Oh, it says apartment A. You can hear Seattle police officers admitting they don't know which building to check as they arrive at Wild West Cars and Trucks the morning of December 14th. Side B. Side B, but it says apartment A. So I don't know if this is A building. I don't know. I don't know. I just checked both of them. It's frustrating to hear for Wild West owner Randy Lindquist. They even say, well, we'll check them both. We showed him this newly released body camera video of officers arriving around 3.50 a.m. and inspecting the area around the showroom. But it never shows them checking this building, where Lindquist says a burglar was busy cutting through this safe. About five minutes later, they walk back toward their cruisers, griping about someone. He sits there, he goes and gets coffee. They're sitting out here having a conversation while I'm being burglarized. Lindquist says that the burglar took this ring, a family heirloom, a handgun, and left a tactical shotgun. Not only are, did they allow a burglar to burglarize me, they put themselves in a lot of danger. The crews are even sitting there when the lights go on in the second building, and the police vehicle leaves at the same time as the burglar. He's climbing out the window at the same time the officer's still moving. If this is the protocol they use to respond to alarm, then they obviously need training. Police were at the property for about 40 minutes, but the body camera video only lasts eight minutes. I am told that's just when officers turned off their cameras. And as for the review of this incident that SPD told us they were starting two months ago, I asked them what they found out. They still haven't responded to me tonight. Reporting live in Seattle, I'm Lindsay Sheldon, Cairo 7 News.